Hi kids, I'm Rocket, and it's great to be here. Today, I want to give you some of my tips for staying safe and being respectful online. We all love to play video games, use our cell phones to talk and text friends, and visit fun websites and apps on our computer. But don't forget, while you're online, I want to make sure you're safe and kind when using your devices. So. Let's talk about being kind online. Just the way you follow the rules and are kind at school, you should be respectful and kind online. That is what makes you a good digital citizen. You don't want to be a cyber bully, so follow these important rules. Be kind online. Never post something mean. And don't feel pressured by others to post mean messages. Stop and think about how others will feel before you post something. If someone is bullying and saying mean or bad things online, tell a trusted adult, like your teacher, school counselor, a police officer, or your parents and guardians. Now, let's talk about staying safe online. This is called cybersecurity. You already know that you should never talk with strangers. There are bad people and strangers out there that may want to harm you. You would never go in a car with a stranger or take candy from a stranger because that could be dangerous and very unsafe. There are also some strangers and bad people online who want to do bad things to you and to others. When you are on your devices, these bad people may try to get you to trust them by using names of people you know or talking about things you like to do and places you like to go. They do this so they can steal your personal information on your device and use it to harm others or do bad things. If this happens, here's what you should do, just like you lock your door to your house so that everything inside stays safe. Lock and block these people out of your game or chat. Don't accept friend requests or emails from someone you do not know. Do not reply. Always make sure you tell a trusted adult, like your teachers, parents, or guardians, when someone you do not know tries to chat with you when you are online. We want to keep safe when we are online. That means when you are using an app or playing a game, you should never share personal information with anyone you don't know. Personal information can be things like your name, birthday, pictures of yourself, or family, or any addresses. If anyone asks you to share this information or to keep it a secret, you need to tell an adult you trust right away. So that's why it's important to only use the safe apps and games approved by your parents or guardians or another trusted adult. Always ask your parents or guardians for permission to install a game. If you are in a game or online and someone you don't know is chatting with you and starts asking for a lot of personal information and pictures, you need to stop and think. If they are not a friend or relative, stop. They may want to find you and hurt you. They may want a picture of you so they can find you. Do not send one to them. If someone online asks you to keep a secret, tell an adult right away. Remember, you don't really know who you are chatting with because you can't see the person. They could be pretending to be your age, but they are really a lot older, even older than your parents. Someone may act like they want to be your friend. They may be trying to trick you. They may be trying to steal your password so they can get all of your information and use it to trick others. If you've never met them, you should leave the room and never enter a private chat room. Now, I want to show you an animated comic. Let's see what happened to Aiden and Clara when they were playing a video game online. This game is awesome, Clara. 
We're going to crush this level. Yeah, just watch out for the lava traps ahead. Hey, look. Someone new is trying to join our game. He says he goes to the school next to ours. I'll have him in. Hey, I go to Mount Union School. That's near you, right? Yeah. Do you know Jamie and Colin? They're my cousins. They go to your school. Yeah, I know them. They're super cool. You sound super cool, too. Hey, would you like to meet up at the big football game this Friday at your school? Hmm, this doesn't seem right. He's asking me for my phone number and what I look like so he can find me at the game. Hold on, Clara. We need to talk. Why? What's wrong? Clara, remember the rules we learned at school about being safe online? But he said he goes to Mount Union. We don't share personal information, pictures, addresses. This guy is asking questions to get your trust. Just like we lock our doors at home, we have to lock and block our games and chat too. He could be lying. He's using the names you gave him to make you trust him more. You never really know who's behind the screen, and that's why it's dangerous. You're right, Aiden. I need to be more careful. It's okay. Now you know. Let's go back and block him from our chat. If someone is asking personal information, we block them. Yeah, let's do that. And make sure we tell our parents. Locked out. No more strangers. Exactly. We only let people in we really know. Thanks, Aiden. Let's tell our parents and get back to playing our game. Great. We're ready for the next level. And no sharing of personal info. Remember, always follow the rules and stay safe online. Only let in people you know. Just like you'd lock your doors at home, lock and block your chat. As you saw in the video, a person Clara did not know was trying to get Clara's personal information from her while she was playing online. They were also trying to meet her in person. Clara did the right thing. She stopped the conversation and locked and blocked the stranger from chatting with them. They did the right thing. I want to share with you some other safety tips that Aiden and Clara do to stay safe online. Never walk away from your devices when you are not at home. Make sure your device is locked when you are not using it. Don't give the password that opens up your device to anyone. Using Wi-Fi when you are not at home may not always be safe. Check with an adult to use Wi-Fi in places like restaurants and outside of your home. Ask permission to visit websites. Not all websites are safe and your information and comments may be visible to strangers. Beware of websites or emails that say, you won a big prize, click here. Don't do it. It may be a trick to steal your information. We learned a lot today about how to stay safe on computers, cell phones, laptops, and tablets. Remember to be a great digital citizen, respecting others, and using kind words. Never share personal information or pictures. If someone asks you to keep a secret, tell an adult you trust right away. Only use approved apps and games. And always get permission from a trusted adult to go online to use apps or play games. Remember, to follow my cybersecurity safety tips so you can have fun online. See you soon.